Some of the most popular vehicles on the road today. Because of their size, most people consider them safer than ordinary sedans. But as we've seen time and time again, they're also more prone to rollovers because of their higher center of gravity. Well, now some families are taking steps to make sure their SUVs are safe. Tonight, the Fox 10 investigators want to know if modifying an SUV is money well spent. Here's Bruce Dunbar. They're as familiar as white lines on black asphalt. More than 76 million are on the road. Wildly popular despite safety concerns. It's a dark road and all of a sudden a deer ran out. So she made a quick turn and that was it. Robin Pierce of Phoenix, behind the wheel of a rented SUV. She probably wasn't doing more than 40, 45 miles an hour. It just rolled right over and only one time just rolled. And um, when it was over, even though she was seat belted, uh, she's now paraplegic. That seems to be a, a major hazard associated with many of the SUVs, that they roll much more easily. Something safety expert Fred Arndt confirmed in 15 years of testing. SUVs have higher ground clearance for occasional off-road use. The resultant high center of gravity, coupled with a relatively narrow track width, makes them top-heavy, especially if they're hauling a lot of passengers or cargo. That nature of that top heaviness increases the roll instability. It, it enhances or wants the vehicle to roll over more easily when accident conditions are set up for that. If you have to evade an accident, you want to minimize that potential for that vehicle to roll over because it just goes downhill from there. Judd Smith of Chandler has nine reasons to be concerned. Matt. Greg. Nate. Tammy. Nick. Becky. Jeremy. Lindsay and Ben. Judd bought a big SUV to transport his big family. You get that car loaded down with the family of nine and some groceries and the family dog. It's a, it's a lot of weight going down the road at a high speed. Viewing this presentation is your first step toward unprecedented vehicle safety, strength, and stability. So when Judd heard about an aftermarket product that might help, he asked his mechanic to install it. I picked the product up specifically because I thought that it was, it was a really good product to, to, um, to carry to, to make, people, make, make people safer when they were driving around. This revolutionary product works by holding your rear leaf springs in their original boat position, so the system will absorb the load rather than resist it. Reduces the, the chances that the body's going to go past center and roll over. On the left, the truck is clearly out of control. On the right, the truck with a Roadmaster active suspension smoothly maneuvers safely through the cones. For installation and the part total is between two and three hundred dollars. Money well spent, says Judd Smith. I even noticed the difference after we put the, uh, the system on, that there was a, a definite improvement in the vehicle's you know, stability. But does it prevent rollovers? A spokesman for Roadmaster says the product makes SUVs safer by reducing wheel lift during severe steering inputs. But he says the company doesn't promise it will prevent rollovers. The very nature of the vehicle, however, is that you'll never get it as stable as a sedan. Fred Arndt says it goes back to that geometry lesson he learned after years of testing. A higher center of gravity plus a relatively narrow track width equals a potential for trouble. Just be aware. Just be aware what their manual says, how many passengers, where they ought to be, what you can put on the roof, what you can't put on the roof, and use a lot of good common sense about how you do things. Arndt says defensive driving is also extremely important, but... Even the best defensive driver will find themselves in positions of jeopardy. That's the nature of the, of the driving world. And once you're there, there may be nothing you can do. It just is out of your hands. Robin Pierce's attorney says what happened on that country road four years ago was out of her hands. He says she was a victim of SUV geometry. Unfortunately, um, once she was injured the way she was, things have gone downhill. And it's been very difficult for her to get back into society and be productive again. In Phoenix, Bruce Dunbar, Fox 10 News. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says wearing a seatbelt in your SUV is also very important. NHTSA says two-thirds of all SUV rollover deaths occur because of victims inside were not wearing their seatbelts. Now, for more information, <coughs> pardon me, on SUV safety, 
go to the NHTSA website. It's www.nhtsa.gov.